The senators had some tough questions about the $2 trillion CARES Act. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin and Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell responded to criticism that it's taken a long time for the money to be distributed and that more relief should go to struggling workers and indebted state and local governments. Senator Bob Menendez asked Chairman Powell what would happen to the economy if states start laying off workers. Doesn't that make the economic recovery even worse? Essentially, yes, Senator. And we, we have the evidence of the, of the global financial crisis and the years afterward where, uh, where uh, state and local government uh, layoffs and lack of hiring did weigh on economic growth. Powell indicated the Fed may expand a program that lends financial support to state and local governments by purchasing their debt. Taxpayers are weighing in on options for the state to deal with its anticipated $10 billion revenue shortfall. And perhaps not surprising, most of those residents would rather see state leaders explore cost-cutting options. That's according to a poll by Garden State Initiative. The group's president is Regina Agia. The number one uh, reason or solution to filling the, any budget deficit that we have is to address savings on either workforce benefits or government operations. And the very last thing that anyone you know, wants is to increase taxes. Of the 500 residents surveyed, only 7% favored raising taxes as a way to help cover the anticipated shortfall. A new report from the New Jersey Hospital Association says hospitals around the state are facing unprecedented fiscal challenges due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic has caused plummeting revenues. In March and April, revenues declined 32 percent, mainly due to a halt in elective surgeries, which are allowed to resume next Tuesday. At the same time, hospitals were faced with increased expenses as they fought COVID-19. A note to any business which applied for a PPP loan. This week, the Small Business Administration has begun accepting applications from those businesses seeking to have a portion of that loan forgiven. Turning now to Wall Street, here's a look at the trading day. I'm Rhonda Schaffler, and those are your top business stories. Support for the Business Report is provided by the New Jersey Society of CPAs, equipping and empowering New Jersey's accounting and finance professionals to thrive in their careers. Learn more at njcpa.org. Thank you.